Race four starters. The Philly division of the Dr. Ted and Don Bremner Memorial are on the gate behind the turn. From the rail out, we have Ultimate Long Shot, Mystical Gal, Woodmare Jazz, Casey Starlight, Elm Grove Quest, outside, that's Oars Terror. Field of six fillies. Everybody's got their nose on the gate. Stake time at Exhibition Park. Here they come. There they go, off and pacing center of the gate. Woodmere Jazz fires out of there for your tour inside. That's ultimate long shot. Into the first turn, ultimate long shot inside has command of the racetrack. Woodmere Jazz on the outsides looking for the front. She now eyes that two hole. Mystical Gal is away in third. Then Casey Starlight found a seat in fourth. Then Elm Grove Quest is fifth at the back. Oars Terror can see them all en route to the opening quarter. They're chasing the three-year-old daughter of Malicious. This is ultimate long shot in Dowling. They're not a long shot in here. They're three to two on the board. And they have the opening quarter in the books, 28 and four. Ultimate long shot on top. Right there second, Woodmare Jazz. Mystical Gal biding her time from third. Casey Starlight can see it from fourth. Elm Grove Quest is fifth. And Oars Terror still at the back. They roll by three eights ultimate long shot and dowling they have command of the racetrack woodmare jazz right on her back right there third mystical gal casey starlight is fourth and she's up on the iron eyeing a move to the outside the phillies are halfway home a minute and four fists ultimate long shot in command right there second that's woodmare jazz mystical gals on the move from third here and then fourth Casey Starlight, still Elm Grove Quest in fifth. Oars Terror sixth, but she stepped to the outside as they up the backside. It's still ultimate long shot. Woodmere Jazz popped the pocket for McPherson and she's underway. Mystical Gal drives up there in third. Casey Starlight still fourth. Oars Terror come on to five. They went by three quarters, 131 and two. Ultimate long shot still in command. Mystical Jazz right to her number. Locked up in the box now. That is Mystical Gal. Casey Starlight starting to hit her stride from fourth. These four will settle at top of the stretch. Ultimate long shot clings to the lead. Outside here comes Woodmere Jazz. Far outside Casey Starlight's on the scene. Up the rail comes Mystical Gal. Down the stretch. Ultimate long shot up the inside. Mystical Gal photo at the line. I'm calling ultimate long shot by a nose. Second Mystical Gal. Third Alt Woodmere Jazz. Time for that mile. Two minutes flat. And she was a battle toe to toe, nose to nose through the stretch with some quality fillies. Three of them across the wire. To get the win, I'm kind of leaning with Brock. I think maybe Dowling got the job done with ultimate long shot. But I'll tell you what a stretch drive for them right there in it. I thought Casey Starlight was going to jump off the, the cover to come. She ended up fourth. But these three fillies duking it out toe to toe, nose to nose, getting to the wire. As you can see, the slow-mo replay getting right down to it. And she is too tight to call. But in the middle, I'm thinking ultimate long shot. Congratulations to the winner. Race number four, we'll see them in the winner's circle next. In the photo, it was the one ultimate long shot getting the job done narrowly over the two mystical gal and Woodmere Jazz right there third. There will be a place photo on your monitors here shortly showing you those top three finishers, but at the line, it was as easy as one, two, three.
Now making her way back in front of the fans where only the winner is allowed to go comes the winner of race number four, the Philly, di the Philly division of the Dr. Ted and Don Bremner stakes. It's the one entry ultimate long shot. She's a three-year-old Philly by Malicious from the Badlands Hanover Mayor, Troxel Hanover. She's owned by Windermere Farms, River Valley Management, and Clyde Balderson. Earl Watts does the training. That's the superstar in the bike. Dave Dowling put her on top all the way. Ultimate long shot. She scores win number four five of her career she captures her division of the dr ted and don bremner memorial stake congratulations to the connections windermere farms river valley management clive balderson earl watts dave dowling and ultimate long shot